Hi guys, hi, how are you all doing? So I hope you guys are having an amazing day. And today I'm going to guide you on chapter 3, the first part, uh, which is chapter 3 is systems of equation. And the first part is solving systems of linear equations in three variables. So we previously, okay, we have solved like simultaneous equations in two variables, like for example, 2x plus 3y equals to 6. So there were, there were not another variable added there. So this time, we have three variables. So for example, okay, let me write here. Uh, let's say we have 2x minus 3y plus z equals to 20. Okay, so as you can see, there's x, y and z. And then we have 3x plus 4y plus 2z equals to 5. And there will be another equation as well, x plus y plus z. Okay, so as you can see, this is linear. Okay, linear means there is no power towards the variables. Okay, so let's look at example because there, there is only two methods that you will learn on solving uh, these linear equations. So first method that you will learn is substitution method. Okay, substitution. Another method that you will learn to solve this is elimination method. Okay, so we're going to go to the first one, which is substitution method. Now, let me write down the question. Alright, the question is solve the following system of linear equation using substitution method. So, the questions, uh, the linear equations are given as written here. Now, of course, the first step is you need to decide which variable you want to use to substitute. So first, I'm going to write this as equation 1, this is equation 2, this is equation 3. Now, choose which equation, okay, let's say I'm choosing equation 1, okay. So from equation 1, okay, since this is substitution, right, choose which one you want to put at the left hand side. So the rest you're going to bring to the right side. So let's say I want to substitute Z, okay? So I'm going to leave Z on the left side. All this uh, equation, I'm going to bring to the right side. So that means Z will equal to 20. So 2X bring over becomes minus 2X. Negative 3Y brings over becomes positive 3Y, okay? So now this is my Z that I'm going to substitute. So I'm going to substitute this into equation 2 and equation 3, okay? So just use one equation first, find which variable you want to substitute. Okay, now substitute z into equation 2 and equation 3. Okay, so I'm going to do this one by one. So into equation 2, we get 3x plus 4y plus 2z. Z is 20 minus 2x plus 3 equals to 5. Okay, so I'm going to solve this. When you solve this, okay, you will not have z here. You will only have x and y. Okay, so 3x plus 4y plus 40 minus 4x plus 6. So the 5, what we can do, for now we leave first, we solve here. So 3x minus 4x is negative x. 4y is, uh, yep, here is y, 3y. So here is 6y. So 4y plus 6y is 10y. Okay, 40 we can bring over. So that means 5 minus 40. So here we have negative 10x plus Negative x plus 10y equals to negative 35. Now, I don't want negative for x, so I'm going to change this to positive. So, I'm going to times this whole thing with a negative. So, negative, negative, here positive. Here, negative, positive is negative 10y. Negative times negative, 35. So, now, this is going to be my equation 4. So as you can see, I, I already get another equation in terms of x and y only. There's no more z. So this is what we want because we are going to substitute the z's. 
now uh, since equation 2 substituted now I'm going to substitute into equation 3 so I'm going to do this at the back so x plus y plus z okay so x plus y plus z z is 20 minus 2x plus 3y 20 minus 2x plus 3y equals to 3. This equation is equals to 3. So now uh, expand as usual x plus y plus 20 minus 2x plus 3y equals to 3. So here x minus 2x is negative x, y plus 3y is 4y bring the 20 over so it becomes 3 minus 20 so negative x plus 4y equals to negative 17 so i don't want negative for my x so i times the entire equation with the negative so negative times negative positive negative positive is negative 4y negative times negative is positive 17 so this will be equation 5 so can you see equation 4 and equation 5? We have x and y only, right? So now we are going to solve this simultaneous equation. So what I'm going to do, okay, for third step, I'm going to take equation 4, okay, minus equation 5. Okay, I'm going to try this first, minus, okay. So equation 4 is x minus 10y equals to 35. So, x minus 10y equals to 35 minus x minus 4y equals to 70. Now, when I minus, which one can be eliminated? x can be eliminated. So, since x can be eliminated, I'm going to straight away write the answer. So, x minus x, 0. Negative 10 minus negative 4. So, it becomes negative 6y. 35 minus 17 is 18. So now we bring over the 6, negative 6. So it becomes y is equals to negative 3. So we have obtained y. Now, since we have already obtained the value of y, immediately we can substitute this into this equation or we can substitute y into this equation. You can choose either equation 4 or 5 only so that we can get the x. Okay, so I'm going to choose equation 5. Okay, so substitute. So as you can see, all of this we are just substituting. So y equals to negative 3 into, okay, into equation 5. Okay, so x minus 4 negative 3 equals to 17 x plus 12 equals to 17 so x is 17 minus 12 is equals to 5 now we got y and we got x already now what we need to do we need to substitute into here you can choose equation 1 2 or 3 so i'm going to choose equation 3 because this is easy everything is just the variable only so x plus y plus z equals 3 so now substitute, okay, x equals to 5, y equals to negative 3 into equation 3, okay. So I'm going to substitute x plus y plus z. So x is 5 plus y is negative 3 plus z equals to 3, right, equals to 3, okay. So 5 plus negative 3 is 2, 2 plus z is 3, so z is 1. So we have obtained all the values. So the final answer, x is 5, y is negative 3 and z is 1. So in the next video, I'm going to uh, guide you on how to solve uh, using elimination method. So for this video, we have already know how to use substitution. So the next one will be elimination method. So don't forget to click like and subscribe. Share this with a friend if you think your friend needs help on substitution. So until I see you in my next video.